hi she was seven i'm back with a quick video for y'all today this video is going to be about respect okay ladies and men okay um if you're dating or starting to date someone and the first signs of disrespect that they show you that's a red flag okay pay attention when you've been disrespected don't blow it off pay attention to it because this will lead to more disrespect and then worse uh, could lead to cheating abuse or you know you know a lots of incompatible things that are red flags to not enter into a serious relationship with so pay attention to you know when you're being disrespected in any type of way if something offends you and you ask that person like say excuse me that's very offensive to me if they overreact or think it's silly or and they keep continuing continuing to do it that's a red flag okay so um, a lot of people ignore these signs and then they end up in, in a relationship and they don't get the respect they're abused no one li they're not being listened to they're being treated like uh, you know an object they these are the kind of people that um, will get broken up with like 50 times and then they'll always take the person back these are people that set themselves up to be disrespected and abused so if you've taken a boyfriend or a girlfriend back more than two times that's too too many times okay um, if they haven't learned by that time they will never learn okay so you need to let those type of people go if you're um, being disrespected and you feel like you can't do any better so you accept that that means that you are telling that person you are invaluable you don't matter and you can treat me any type of way I don't care that's what you're telling that person in other words you know um, and when this happens to guys when a guy lets a woman treat them any type of way and lets her get away with it she's probably gonna cheat you know because she 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 secretly thinks that you know you're a punk and whatever she says or does you're gonna accept it anyway so she's gonna treat you like crap she's gonna cheat on you and she's going to exploit you okay that's just what how people do when victims let them abuse them you know what I'm saying so you can't blame that person you can only blame yourself for not getting up and leaving the situation you can only blame yourself you can't blame other people for how you allow them to treat you okay it's your duty to say look I don't think so I don't accept this type of behavior you have disrespected me you can't do this to me I won't let you goodbye it's up to you to do that because if you're you know if you're letting them get away with stuff and do stuff to you with no consequence or no price then why should they stop you know what I'm saying why should they stop they have no reason to they're getting exactly what they want so they're not going to stop on their own they're not going to change on their own until you say something stand up and say no I can't do this anymore then that's when they'll understand you know and by then it's too late so that's why I always say in the beginning of a relationship this is the most important time to set down the rules and the laws and what you will um, take and what you won't take you know if someone disrespects you talks to you crazy tells you to shut up in front of people you need to look at them crazy and embarrass them right on back okay if you don't do this this is gonna keep happening to you if someone tells you something lies to you and then makes up an excuse later on and you forgive them five six seven eight nine ten times it's gonna keep happening because there's no consequence do you understand if someone lies to you once lies to you twice the third time it should be the last time or there should be a major consequence do you know what I mean like something that will make them not ever want to lie to you again you know like maybe telling one of their big secrets or cutting them off you know so like in the bedroom or cutting them off by you know not talking to them not sleeping with them and maybe even lying to them about something that you know will hurt them as well you gotta get revenge sometimes you know so you need to stop putting up with the BS just to say I have a man or I have a woman because that's the type of woman you're or a man you're gonna continue continuously have the kind that disrespects you walks over you doesn't care about you and um, you know abuses you or takes you for granted 
If you don't stand up to them in the very beginning and you try to stand up later on for yourself, they're gonna look at you crazy and be like, well, why are you changing all of a sudden? You know how it was, you know what to expect. You agreed to this, you know, they're not gonna be having it later on. That's all you gotta do in the beginning, okay? Um, and surprise them, you know, cause most of the exes they had probably just accepted it. And that's what's gonna make you stick out from the crowd. They're gonna be like, oh, she's special. Okay, she's not taking my BS. She's gonna make me into a man. Or vice versa, oh, he's not taking my BS. He uh, really wants to be respected. Mm, that's sexy, you know. Uh, he's not intimidated by me, you know. So it can go to your advantage for standing up for yourself. If you let that stuff go, they're going to be like, oh, good, she's one of those. I can do whatever I want. Or, oh, good, he's one of those. I can have my cake and eat it too. But if you stand up for yourself and they see that, they're, that you're not afraid to lose them, they're going to start looking at themselves like, dang, you know, I'm not all that anymore. She, she won't, this, you know, this girl won't even listen to me. I'm not all that anymore. Or if it's a girl like, oh, you know, he can probably do better than me. Why, I need to act right. You know, even though it might not be true, if you stand up for yourself, their thinking will shift about you and what you're going to expect of them. You know, that's why I say a lot of people will comment in my comments. Oh, how can a girl like you get a man like this and da, da, da. or how don't give these girls false hope. No, it's not about looks. Most of the time it's about mental, you know, it's about the mental. So, um, yeah, 90% of most relationships are mental, the mental power that you have over this person or with this person or a co mental connection to this person okay so you need to you need to keep that in mind because you can have two girls that look exactly the same and the one with the better mental game is going to have the other the you know the person that they want doing exactly the things that they want in the relationship and how their relationship you know is going it's going to be probably a lot better than the other one with less you know mental capability of, you know, getting things done her way, you know what I'm saying, or his way. Uh, and it's not about control or domination, it's about a meeting of the minds and respect and mutual respect, okay? So if you're not with someone that respects you, if you don't respect the person you're with, you need to understand that that person is allowing you to disrespect them and they don't value themselves, and they're probably not gonna value a lot of other things in life. So it's not gonna be a good match if you you know plan to marry this type of person because they're not gonna put value on themselves or anything else, you know, because they have a defeated attitude, okay? So if you're looking for a go-getter, that's not gonna be the one for you, okay? So I'm gonna leave it at that. I think that's enough information. For today, if y'all want to comment and tell me if this has happened to you or, you know, if you've seen red flags in your relationship, go ahead and put that in the comments and I'll see y'all on the next video.